What narcissists fear most when you go silent? Everyone. What kind of message does it send to them? From where I'm standing, it looks like a pretty effective way to cut them out of your life if that's what you're aiming for. If you're serious about getting rid of the narcissist and escaping all the hurt, chaos, and stress they bring, silence can be a game changer. When you're breaking ties with a narcissist, silence is often underestimated. It's not just sitting back, it's a powerful act of self-care. Let me emphasize this, refusing to engage with a toxic person is about protecting yourself. It's not always easy, I understand. But when you can pull it off, it's often your best bet. Remember, we're talking about individuals with harmful narcissistic traits here. They're like energy vampires. That's what you're up against when you're in or trying to get out of a relationship with a narcissist. This is especially true if you're an empath with weak boundaries. You end up feeling completely drained. And you know why? Because you are. Narcissists thrive on strong emotions, drama, chaos, and negativity. Your fear, pain, anxiety, confusion, that's what fuels them. If they see they can get under your skin, you're their perfect target, a prime source of supply. And then comes the feeding frenzy. Narcissists will push your buttons, subtly or aggressively, to get a reaction. Why? So they can feed off that negative energy. They'll do whatever it takes to stir up your emotions, devouring your response like a hungry animal. In simple terms, your emotional turmoil becomes their meal. They thrive on your suffering, suffering they intentionally cause. It's like demons feeding on human pain. Let's not supercoat it. There's a similarity. Destructive narcissists operate in much the same way. People who make a mess of relationships, whether through direct manipulation or causing chaos and pain. Why does a narcissist behave this way? It's to drain you of your energy and vitality. This behavior not only shows strong narcissistic traits, but it also reveals a pattern of destructive narcissism. It reflects their strong sense of entitlement and their lack of empathy. However, when you choose to remain silent around a narcissist, without resorting to passive-aggressive tactics or seeking attention as they do with the silent treatment to manipulate you, instead, embracing silence with conviction and clarity, even if it's challenging for you, when you stay silent with courage, assurance, and communicate that the narcissist holds no importance to you, when you adopt this mindset, embracing silence with clear boundaries, signaling that there's no narcissistic supply available here. When you go silent in that way, fully in control of your emotions, steadfast in your identity, composed, calm, and detached. Once again, affirming that there's nothing to be gained here, and you consistently maintain that stance for a significant period, what you're essentially doing is depriving the narcissist emotionally and energetically. You're denying them the very thing they crave to feel alive and important, what they need to feel acknowledged by you in some way. By cutting off their supply, their life force, your essential energy, you are prioritizing your well-being and stopping their manipulation. When you uphold this silence for a prolonged period, it's game over. Perhaps not immediately, but the longer and more consistently you keep them in the dark, the sooner they'll be forced to find another source to satisfy their distorted needs, and you'll finally find peace. And isn't that what you want? You don't need to have the final say in a confrontation with a narcissist. Being right won't matter, and no matter what you say, you won't break through their defenses. Most importantly, they won't change. So if your aim is peace and you want to nurture joyful, healthy relationships with people who don't feel entitled to hurt you and then blame you for it, maintaining silence is the quickest way forward. Blending your focus on personal healing seamlessly with disrupting repetitive cycles is where true change begins. A powerful shift happens when you choose to ignore narcissistic influences. By prioritizing your well-being and surrounding yourself with stable, supportive individuals, you reclaim control. Their actions lose their hold as you refuse to engage. Cutting ties prevents manipulation, prompting them to seek other targets. The upside? Eventually, they'll move on. Though it may take time, once they realize they can't manipulate you anymore, they may try to reconnect. 
It may require consistent disinterest before they understand and move on. But trust me, seeing a narcissist as insignificant is the quickest path to freedom. I empathize with the struggle of seeking validation from those who can offer genuine support, having experienced it myself. Breaking free from this cycle can be daunting, but it's essential for personal growth and healing. As empaths, we naturally aim to show kindness, warmth, and empathy, often putting our own needs aside. However, it's vital to realize that we need to take care of ourselves first. What if we started by giving ourselves love and attention? What if we focused on ourselves while also acknowledging the challenges posed by highly manipulative people who exhibit destructive narcissism? No matter how compassionate or well-meaning you may be, some individuals simply don't appreciate kindness, sincerity, authenticity, or courtesy. It's like speaking a different language to them. While spreading love and compassion is admirable, it's important to understand its limitations when dealing with destructive narcissism. In situations involving narcissistic behavior, being kind, sincere, or polite often doesn't make a difference and may even invite further mistreatment. Therefore, it's essential to acknowledge that being nice alone won't rid you of narcissists. Believing that your kindness will effectively handle a destructive narcissist is self-deception. Sometimes, silence becomes your most effective tool for asserting your needs and distancing yourself from their influence. Despite their outward charm, narcissists lack genuine personal integrity. Don't be fooled by their facade. Beneath it lies emptiness. Interactions with them typically revolve around dominance, control, and power, whether overtly or subtly. They manipulate perceptions and stories to suit their agenda, often resorting to spreading lies and turning others against you. When dealing with narcissists, it's crucial to be cautious about whose words you trust, as the narcissist may be the one provoking conflict and spreading falsehoods. Stay alert and prioritize your own well-being over trying to reason with individuals who lack genuine empathy or understanding. Prepare yourself to handle what you can and focus on taking care of yourself first. Don't waste too much time trying to prove your worth or convince others of the truth. The people who truly know and care about you will see through any lies. If someone decides to believe something negative about you, don't let it affect you. Starting your healing journey can help you deal with such challenges. It's not easy, but it shows personal growth. Even though it hurts to see others believe lies about you, sometimes staying quiet is the best response. Choosing silence when dealing with a narcissist takes away their power. They rely on spreading lies to control others. Even though they might try to smear your name, focus on what you can control and taking care of yourself to find happiness. We appreciate your involvement in our conversations. Your participation means a lot to us. Your support helps us maintain our standards and discover new opportunities. Thank you for being an important part of our community and for your valuable contributions.